Francis in Palos Verde, California, writes to me and he says, Hi Paul, I enjoy watching your informative and helpful videos every day. <laughs> well, thank you. Much appreciated. You deserve a massive thank you for taking the time out of your day to create them. I appreciate that. This is it's actually fun for me. It's ah, it, There's nobody here to talk to. I just talk to you. And I spend my Saturday doing that. So I like it. And I appreciate somebody actually watching them <laughs> because it wouldn't make much sense if nobody watched. Uh, do PS Audio amplifiers have the ability to change the ohm range, say from four to six ohms? If not, what are your thoughts on adding that feature to your amplifiers? Well, Francis, I think, no, they do not. And most modern amplifiers have no such switch and have no need for such switch. So what I think you're kind of falling back on is the old days with tube amplifiers and those tube amplifiers have output transformers to where they had different taps. So you could have a 4 ohm tap or an 8 ohm tap or a 16 ohm tap and that's where you would plug your speaker into depending on its impedance. Now, yes, you could have done that with a switch and that would have been a lot more convenient. Plug it into the binding post, click the switch to the appropriate impedance, 4, 8, 16, life's good. And that makes sense. And I don't know anybody ever did add that switch. Most of them, they just had different binding posts. But what was going on was the use of an output transformer to take the higher output impedance of the vacuum tube output stage and transform it. You like that? Transformers transform the impedance from high to low, but you had to be rather specific. How low? 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 16 ohms? That was the deal. Today, in a modern solid state amplifier, there's no need. You hook up whatever you want, and the amplifier is capable of driving, like ours, can drive, say, 2 ohms up to 1,000 ohms, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It automatically adjusts for whatever you're connecting it up to with more output or less output to match that impedance, and it's all automatic. No need for a switch. So, great question. Thanks. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.